Hi, welcome to Devoted Golfer TV. My name is Daniel Sperling from Lonnie Pool Golf Course in Raleigh, North Carolina at NC State University. I'm really happy today to be here with Tim Gillis from Foresight Sports because we recently just got our new Foresight, our Foresight GC Quad. And we've had it for about a month now and I couldn't be happier with its performance, its accuracy, uh, we have an indoor fitting studio, and that was really what we sought you guys out for. So, Tim, can you tell us a little bit about what you brought with us here Yeah, today? Daniel, what you're looking at is one of the newer technologies called GC Quad. It's an evolution from our original technology called GC2, and it contains all the information in one unit. So you're able to measure the golf ball like you do, the club like you do, and then the simulation software translates that information into being able to do whatever you want, fitting, instruction, or entertainment and play golf courses. So we sure appreciate the relationship with you now and the, and the Lonnie Pool Golf Course. Absolutely. Long-lasting relationship, yes. hopefully. For sure. So we utilize the quad for multiple reasons, but um, the two main would be for fitting and simulation. Right. So when we fit golf clubs, we like to capture as much as we can. Sure. We like to make the process as transparent as possible. And we like to give people the confidence that what they're seeing is what's happening. Um, so in order to do that, in order to get such a specific impact position, we have to use these fractals. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, basically what you have is a difference in our technology, Daniels, is a very high-speed camera system. Uh -huh. And the high-speed cameras are able to measure the club head, where a lot of our competitors predict the club head based on the ball information. One of the advantages we get of putting, you call them fractures, we call them judicials, is putting four of them on the face, and it actually triangulates the face and allows the cameras to see that impact position. So when you're doing it, you see, I'm sure, with a variety of players, different impact positions, but that allows you to do your fitting and then potentially work into instruction. Now with that, if you're doing simulation for playing golf or, or practicing, you don't necessarily need those. The only time you really need it is when you want to be able to see all that club head data. Yeah which is imperative for fitting golf clubs. Yes, it is. And when you look at the indoor application, there's nobody in the industry that can do it like we do it. And if you look at just in general, the world population of people doing stuff indoors, you're going to see a predominant use of the GC Quad or Game Changer technology in one form or another in all those indoor studios. I mean, even to the fact that the governing bodies use our technology to measure everything that they're doing. All the OEM manufacturers, while they use some things to look at golf ball as well as ours, nobody uses anything but ours to do their manufacturing and design on golf clubs. Yes, there's a lot of uh, GC quads here and in the PGA show that are not necessarily in the Foresight Sports area. True. So yeah. um, definitely have noticed that. Uh, one of my favorite data points provided by the quad is the dynamic lie. Yes. And uh, again, imperative for fitting golf clubs. Yes, and it's really interesting when you look at lie because most people measure it post-impact. And once you have it post-impact, that shaft has started to slow down and droop. Mm. And consequently, our numbers are going to be a little bit different because we're actually measuring it physically at impact. So as soon as that ball hits it, we can tell you what that dynamic lie or the lie at impact is. Yeah, uh, lots of other interesting data points, you know, with face rotation and things like that. Um, I noticed the acronym for that is DPS. Yeah. What does DPS stand for? It's the, uh, the amount of rotation per second. Okay. So it's, it's a data point per second of face rotation. Okay, so that is for face rotation. Oh, yeah. For yeah. a second, I thought DPS might be dimples per second. No, so. not at all. It has nothing to do with that. Okay, one. great, great. Right. Very how, good. How much we capture and all that information. Yeah. Um, we're also utilizing the software on an, an iPad, yes. which I've been very, very pleased with. Thank you. You guys also have a, a uh, phone app, yep. correct? Yep. Um, which, are, which are free. Right? Yeah, That's so great. what we do is the GC Quad is actually its own hotspot. Yeah. So when you're using it, not uh, in conjunction with the software through a computer, you get a free iTunes application that you can put on any mobile device. 
Mm -hmm. you know, can be an Android, can be any Apple device. Um, the iPad's a little bit easier to navigate because of the amount of information we give. Uh, it's a little bit easier if you have that bigger screen to look at that data. If yeah. you have a phone, you have to scan and slide a little bit and, and so segregate that information out a little bit. But what a lot of people do too, Daniel, is you can see the data on the screen itself, on the unit. So sometimes as a fitter or whatever, if you've got the iPad in the background, you're accumulating shots so you can review it after the session is over. But during each shot, you can look at the parameters of each shot for both the golf ball and the club head during that shot. Yes, that's, that's what we've noticed too. Very, very accurate things coming out and the display is very easy. I've really enjoyed the, um, it's kind of like a home plate box on there. When they put a ball down, they can kind of see where to put it, you know, which is really good because I get that question all the time, you uh, know, with a, and you need a solid green light and then green means go. Yeah. Yeah. It's flashing right now because we don't have a ball in front of it, but typically, and you're looking at that screen, if you get it anywhere in there, the cameras are locked on and they're ready to get you the data. Oh, yeah. Um, you also have some pretty comprehensive putting software built into there, right? Yeah, we, um, because of the cameras, when the ball sits there with a the comprehensive putting software, we call it essential putting, we're going to give you 16 different parameters for ball and for club. Now, from a consumer standpoint, that's probably a little bit too, too much information. But if you're a short game expert or you're into fitting people for putters and you want to do an efficient job and help them improve, the putting application is, again, state of the art. It does some things that two other machines do versus one. And those machines can be a little bit cumbersome to set up. Sometimes you have to put adapters on the golf clubs, which change the dynamics of the golf club. You don't do any of that with us. Well, that's very well, really cool there. I see that um, it's extremely mobile. Yes, it weighs seven and a half pounds. Yeah. You just pick it up and go with it. Yeah. Kind of a, a built-in hook back there, and you can slide a, a base out from the bottom and throw a tee down, that thing won't go anywhere. Yeah, it's got a dovetail design that looks a little bit like a beaver tail, and it's got a hole in it so you can, you can uh, put it in the ground or do whatever. And one of the things that's really different with us, too, is if you do want to take it outside, it'll sit on 10-degree pitches. Mm. and you'll be able to get all the data and things like that. Okay. So it's, it's interesting you can't do anything else like that with other people's product. Really cool. Yeah. Our engineers are pretty sharp. <laughs> I, uh, I can tell it's, uh, it's very applicable all over the golf course. So another thing that we're doing with Foresight Sports is we're getting our golf course mapped. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but um, whenever we create a business relationship, we offer the capability to map your golf course, add it to our library, and um, we don't charge for that. So it takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit of a complicated uh, dynamic to get that done. But once it's done, we add it to you, we give it to you, and a lot of your members can now come play your golf course. Or, you know, two things that really work well with us is giving lessons. If you've got somebody that really has a hard time playing a hole, mm. then you give a lesson to them and say, okay, what's your hardest hole? Let's go out there and figure out the best way for you to play it and, yeah. and develop a, a strategic as coaching as much as instruction and fitting as well. So. Wow, that's really special. And I was talking to you about this before with our golf course being a little bit in the transition zone in North Carolina. Yeah. You guys are going to be mapping our golf course while some of our turf is dormant. Right. And uh, you assured me that you can render them any color you want and make us look as, as good as possible. Yeah, what we do more than anything else is, is uh, dynamic generate the topography. And then we will physically load, you know, the colorization and things like that. And then uh, you haven't gotten to that stage yet, but we're going to provide that to you and make sure all the landmarks are in the right place. Make sure you've got anything that you want to see on there is in there and make it as realistic as possible. Yes, and um, so we talked about the, the can, you, can you tell me again what the name of those, I called them fractals. But yeah, what, they're fudicials. Fudicials. Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked about putting fudicials on the golf club for fitting. Is yeah. that something that you have to put on every golf club when you do simulation? No, you don't have to go anywhere near that. Oh, um, good. Everything you do in simulation and if you want to do quick fitting is all done off the dimples of the golf ball. The cameras see the dimples. Um, we are proud of the dynamic relationship we have with that ball because if you set the logo down and you look at our cameras through the, through the high-speed frames that we have, you can actually see the logo as it goes out and as it turns one way or the other. Wow. That's, how many pictures does it, it take a second? Um, 
kind of proprietary information. Okay. I don't like to share that. Yeah, well, like it to has to our, be. Don't tell our competitors what we're doing, but it's, it's a very high frame rate. And it's interesting because we've looked at doing it higher, mm -hmm. and then, um, I don't know if you've ever seen cartoons made in the old days, but they drew the drawings and they made them go real fast so they all look like one. It's oh, basically yeah. the same kind of situation where we've done more, we've done less. We fit into this category now where we figure like we're getting so much data that doing more frames per second, which again is a very high frame rate, um, is going to give us all the data we need without duplicating things that we don't need to duplicate. Yeah, well I'm definitely getting all the data I need from it to do <laughs> my you. job. Um, so you have multiple golf courses to choose from for simulation. Yeah, we have 147 golf courses right now. Uh, I just talked to the boss. With yours in the queue, there's another 10 that we're working on. Um, and again, when we sell something to somebody, we create that partnership. And we want you to be proud of you know, working with us, and we want to be proud of working with you. So we'll put that in there. And again, it doesn't cost you anything to do it. That's great. Well, we're really excited to have that update to our player development room. And our members are excited to dive right into it, especially with our golf course. And we have, I think we have Pebble Beach. Yes. And we have St. Andrews. And uh, I'm sure there will be more to come. Well, out of the 150 golf courses, um, your members will probably recognize 50 to 60 of them. But there are some obscure situations that, you know, if you're a local, you're mm -hmm. going to know. So, you know, if you get up in the Pennsylvania area, you're going to know some of the golf courses that other people would know. But the customers in Pennsylvania buy them because the, the people that are coming in recognize them and they want to play them. Absolutely. Well, Tim, thanks for coming in today and, and educating me a little bit more on um, the GC quad here. We're really excited to continue to work on it and work with it, and we look forward to our long relationship. Us too. We appreciate you, and we appreciate the North Carolina state relationship, and of course with Lonnie Poole. Right. Anything we can ever do for you, we're there to help. This is Devoted Golfer. Thanks for watching.